go to heaven, goats go to hell. Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to, actually first of all I wanted to uh, thank everybody for all the positive feedback in the comment section on my last video. You guys are awesome, thank you. Um, uh, but this video is, I'm answering uh, the Amazing Atheist's 10 questions that he made in his last video. Uh, ask yourself this. Um, okay, question number one. If you had to choose between your life as it is now, you'll never be any better off than you are at this moment, or a life where you would become President of the United States, or whatever the highest public office in your country is, but you get assassinated a year before leaving office, which would you choose? Um, my life as it is. I, I have no problem with my life as it is right now. I, this, is, this is fine. Um, two. Would you rather be the greatest genius of all, uh, of all time, but be so beyond people's comprehension that you'd never be appreciated until long after your death, or a person who is perceived as a genius in his own time, but is later thought of as a mediocre hack who is overrated? Um, I'd rather be the big-time genius who nobody appreciated just because, uh, I don't know, it's... Uh, it's I really don't know why. It's not. It's got nothing to do with honor. It's just. It's just. Um, I would just want to be a really, really smart person. I wouldn't want to be a hack, basically. Um, okay. Question number three. Uh, would you rather have an ugly sexual partner who is immensely satisfying in bed, but embarrassing in that people know you're fucking someone so ugly, or a beautiful lover who sucked in bed? but made others deeply envious of you. Um, uh, either one would be fine, um, but I think really whether somebody's good in the sack or whether they look good doesn't really factor into uh, having a relationship with them. I think it's more about, it's more about personality. It's more about um, you know, how much they love you, how well you get along together. Um, so I, I would say either one of those would be kind of sucky, but not not that bad. Um, but I would, I guess I would, I would probably be more likely to go with the ugly person because I'd rather have fun with somebody who's ugly than um, be stuck with some dull gorgeous looking person although if the gorgeous looking person had a good personality and their only flaw was that they were bad in the sack then I'd go with them I mean it's it's it could go either way it depends on other factors I guess um, okay uh, question number four would you rather be the lead singer of an extremely mediocre but popular rock band or the world's greatest poet with a small fan following um, I don't know. Well, I don't really like poetry that much, so I guess I guess I'd be the uh, the lead singer of a rock band. Okay, uh, number five. If you had a chance to open one of two doors, and one door led to the fulfillment of all your dreams, and the other had an axe murderer who would chop you into pieces as soon as you opened the door. Would you choose to open a door? Probably not. I I don't really I, I don't really like pain. If it was a quick painless death, then yeah, sure, I'd I'd go for it. But I don't I don't want to be hacked up to pieces while I'm, you know, while I'm still alive in the process of dying. I want to, you know, I want to die quickly and painlessly. Um if uh question number 6, if by killing yourself all of your enemies would be destroyed as well. Would you kill yourself? No. <laughs> I uh, first of all, I don't really care that much as to what happens to my. Well, first of all, if I'm gone, then what do I care if my enemies are are here or not? Um. But uh, secondly, I don't really have any enemies as far as I know. I mean, I might be someone else's enemy, but I don't consider anybody else to be my enemy. Uh, 
Um, okay, question number seven. If you had to take a car trip with either a Vietnam vet with serious mental health problems and had a gun on his person at all times, or a conservative Christian who passed judgment on everything you did, who would you choose? Um, probably the Vietnam vet. Uh, I can't really give a reason why. I just... I would probably... I mean, even though he's got serious men well I've got serious mental health problems so we probably get along um, uh, question number eight if you could obtain immortality by stomping a little girl's pet kitten no no um, if it was just once if it was just once if you could um, you know if I could have immortality by killing the kitten just once um, I might possibly consider it but every Christmas for I guess I'm assuming for the rest of eternity no that's that's ridiculous um, anyway uh, number nine uh, if you love someone with all your heart and they hated everything about you would you shorten their life by ten years if it meant they would love you in return no because uh, if you love them, why shorten their life? And also, if you love them, why um, alter their mind? I mean, obviously, you're, you know, something is happening to them that's altering their mind um, in some way. And so that's kind of, you know, that's screwing up with, screwing with their free will. So it's like, if you, um, if you love somebody, you don't want to screw with their free will. That's just kind of stupid. Um... Uh, well, I wouldn't, anyway. Um, uh, number ten, if you died and went to hell, and it was every bit as horrible as the Christians say it is, and the devil offered you a one-year reprieve from the agony of hell for each person you tempted to damnation, would you take his deal? Um, I would say probably yes. Um, I would, I, I would try my best to figure out, you know, maybe this is, maybe this is actually God, and he's testing me, he wants to see how, but I would, uh, I would put into place, I would say, you know, okay, yeah, I'll do it, as long as you offer these other people the same deal, or at least a very similar deal, if you offer these people, if you give them the chance to not be, uh, uh, you know, suffering the damnation. Um, it, uh, then I'd do it, but I suppose if it was just like, if, you know, he said no to that, I, I'd probably say no, because, I, I mean, ultimately, I'm one person, my life doesn't really matter all that much, but, you know, all the, but then, of course, temptation, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, forcefully taking that, yeah, sure, I'll do it. No problem. I've got no problem with do doing that. Okay. So that's it. See you guys later.